I don't know who needs to hear this, but Lowe's is trash and Home Depot can bite me. I need you to move the face down. Okay. Whoa. All right. Thank you, ma'am. That's it. Oh, okay. I've become that person who parks their vehicle far away from the store so nobody can hit my shit with a shopping cart. Y'all, we just started the... Let me sit y'all right here. We just started the renovation of our kitchen. And let me tell y'all, I'm over it already and we haven't even ripped the towel up yet, y'all. I am over it, okay? First, we had to drive over an hour away just to find that was not mediocre an hour away when we was there we found what we thought was going to be our so I'm back y'all so we started the renovation on our kitchen well we will be starting tomorrow actually and y'all I'm annoyed already and we need ripped the towel up yet okay first off we had to drive over our way to go to a store named Floor and Decor just to find tile that wasn't mediocre. That's number one. I'm not complaining because we found a stunning, stunning tile that we are going to install on our kitchen island. And then while we was there, we forgot, we totally forgot to choose a floor tile. So we said, okay, Home Depot and Lowe's should have something. I never realized that different Home Depots and different Lowe's have different stuff. I thought all of them have the same thing. Lowe's is trash. Let's just say that. Let's put that out there in the universe. Their floor tile is so cheap. It is so thin. It felt like you ever buy that cheap Walmart furniture and after like three months, your bookcase started leaning like this? That's what it felt like, but they wanted $50 a box. What? Bye. Suck my extra ass meat. So now I just left Home Depot and we have a contender. We have a contender. So I'm about to go get these face plates because now I have to go back to Lowe's because my plan was to get everything from one store. So I came to Home Depot thinking they was going to have the face plates. Um, for my sockets, they don't have them. So now I have to go back to Lowe's when I just left fucking Lowe's to get some fucking face plates. So yeah. Tiny bit annoyed. Tiny bit. But whatever. Whatever. Let's go, y'all. Let's go. Let's check out Lowe's, y'all. Okay, look how thin their flooring is. And it's basically a killing stick, but it's $53 a box. Lowe's is trash. Lowe's is trash. This one is a little thicker. That's more durable. That's better. But that color is ugly. Huh, let's see. And this aisle is really all this Lowe's has. This is crazy. You know, you realize how many sockets I have in my fucking house? Mm. Y'all, I just spent $30 on some electrical socket 
plates just for my kitchen just for my kitchen i mean they cute they heavy so i'm trying not to complain but 30 dollars and it's just for the kitchen y'all there is so many sockets in my living room and our entryway then the whole way every bedroom the bathrooms we have two baby i'm about to spend like two hundred dollars or more on socket plates the fuck so i need to go run into sherman williams because we are painting our cabinets to save money it's absolutely nothing wrong with our cabinets they just don't fit the theme we're going with in our kitchen. So I want to ask them what paint is best for painting cabinets. And I want to see their color selection. Um, before anybody asks, it would have been better for us. We wouldn't have had to, I'm not even going to say better. We would have avoided having to do updates and renovations if we would have brought like a newly constructed house um we started our home search a year before we purchased and the reason we did was because in the baltimore area it doesn't matter if it's baltimore city if it's baltimore county if it's harford county and arundel county it doesn't matter it's different style houses you have ranch style houses you have townhouses you have your traditional houses you have cottages, you have um, Mediterranean style. It's so many different style houses. We wanted to make sure we picked the right one for us. And the reason we didn't go, th go through with new construction, although they were beautiful, one, we did not want to deal with homeowner associations. That's number one. Um, if I'm paying a mortgage and I'm paying taxes on a house on a home, I don't want anybody to feel like they have right to tell me what the hell to do with my property. So that was number one. Um, the second reason we did not buy new construction is because although they were beautiful, um, the living room, huge, kitchen, huge, basement area, spacious, master bedroom big stunning we know that we want to expand our family one day and the additional bedrooms just no they trash the additional bedrooms in new construction homes especially townhomes at least in this area are small they are the perfect size for a nursery but if you have small children what happens when your kid gets 10 and they are tall like my daughter really honestly grew out of her twin bed by the age of 10 so when she was like i'm gonna say like 9 or 10 i got rid of her twin and i got her a queen size and she's been in a queen bed ever since so for us it did not make any sense to buy new construction and have to take our daughter out of a queen bed and put her back in a twin bed just to say we got a new home that did not make sense the next reason um some of the new construction townhomes we looked at, the square footage was like 1500 which is a pretty decent sized house. The house we have right now that we, that we actually went with has 1,800 square feet total. So it didn't make sense for us to tri double or triple our budget just to say we want new construction. Yes, it would have been convenient, um, we would have been able to customize it the way we want to. But our home, we paid $124,000 for the house. After we invest in the updates, we still got a tiny mortgage. Versus if we would have brought new construction, our mortgage would have been this big. We're talking about a $1,000 difference in a mortgage payment. So that's why we are updating our house. So let's go in this paint store y'all just pulled up to sherman whim so guys i'm finally home pay no attention to the missing shelf we are in the middle of renovations and i also i think i'm going to take these curtains down 
I have the same curtain in the dining room and in the living room, but these are shorter and I don't like how you can see the short curtain in a dining room, but in the living room, you can't even tell that they are long. So I think I'm gonna switch them out. So let me show you what you see. I hate that. I hate that. I prefer curtains to touch the floor. It changes the whole look like floor length. Curtains make your space look elegant and regal. So I'm definitely gonna switch those out. But let me show you guys our kitchen theme. And I'm gonna show you guys all of the tile. We will be starting this kitchen update this weekend. I'm going to film the entire process for you guys. So stay tuned. So this is our kitchen. This is the flooring we went with. It's gray with dark undertones. The socket plates. This is the color we're going with for the cabinets. Um, I just want to do like the bottom cabinets that color or maybe just the island cabinet and then the rest of the cabinets all white. But my wife is on the fence, so we will see. This is going on our island and this is actually our backsplash and I love it because it's kind of silver and it plays well with our black stainless. It just, this is so us. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. 